Good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Hope, Selena, and Terry, and we are coming here on this morning, this beautiful morning before Thanksgiving, to share our personal real-life stories, and today's topic is about inflammation and aches, and this is like our personal real stories about the discomfort or the, the wellness journey that we've had moving from discomfort into wellness, and so you know me. I'm Hope. I've been using oils now for about eight years, and uh, this is something that's just become a part of our, our life and how we live. And so Terry, Selena, would you introduce yourselves and then we'll share some stories. Absolutely. Good morning, everybody. I am Terry Bird. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am a health and life coach and I have been using doTERRA about nine years now and discovering almost daily <laughs> new ways to support myself and my family in our health and well-being. And it's just amazing. All right. Yeah. Um, I am a holistic occupational therapist and work with people of all ages currently and incorporate doTERRA as a wellness advocate into my everyday as well, both personally and professionally. Beautiful. Thank you, ladies. And thank you for also being my friends for so many years and being on this whole wellness journey all of you are working in different fields and different areas and different influential communities. And it's really cool to just see how, how many lives you're impacting just simply by walking the journey yourself and learning for yourself. So today's topic is uh, inflammation, aches, discomfort. And we have a simple two-page PDF that goes along with this topic. We're actually doing a a wellness series that spans eight weeks that talks about eight different topics of wellness. And today's is inflammation and discomfort, or as this sheet says, movement, energy. The four key pillars of this, this issue is energy, strength, flexibility, and recovery. And so you'll see there's doTERRA has pure toxin-free products that we use for these, all four of these key areas here. And so when it comes to what we're actually doing, like what is actually happening, let's start with Selena today. What are you doing? What, what are you using that's actually created a difference, a shift, and let's say the inflammation levels in your body or the, what are you doing to make a change there? Well, I think it's foundational to tackle nutrition. And I really do think that it needs to be food-based nutrition. So I'm super passionate about saying that because um, I really don't think that, I think that the antioxidant um, market exploded and got exploited. And so they were not realizing that really it also became a market to create money and we weren't getting high quality vitamins. And I think all of us have experienced that where we're taking really intense amounts of vitamins and our urine is bright yellow and it smells really strong. You know? And so that's letting you know you're not absorbing it. So it needs to be similar to what our bodies, you know, God made food, not man made food. And I love that doTERRA did it that way, where it's bioavailable. And the other really important factor is we're under a lot of stress and inflammation these days for different reasons. It's quite common these days. And our nutritional, um, our body's burn rate for nutrition is much higher when we're either in pain, like we're firing cortisol when we're in pain. Yeah. and just uncomfortable and so we're firing our stress hormones as well so the fact that then we're burning our magnesium we're burning some of our key nutrients our minerals that we really need to replace those even when you're trying to keep a fairly good diet right but we know that we're lacking our soils are lacking that's that's really foundational so you're saying that the nutrition that we're not getting is contributing to the discomfort our body feels definitely definitely okay yeah. And minerals is a biggie. I mean, just when we talk minerals, just minerals and our, our, our lifelong vitality is jam packed, but our water used to receive mineral minerals from soils and rocks and things, and it would get oxygen. That's not happening. So that alone is huge. And the more stressed we are, the more we burn. So yeah, our body's going to ache. <laughs> so what are you doing for bioavailable for food nutrients? Um, I'm doing our lifelong vitality. Um, it is our, our trio pack that has our omegas, our, um, our vitamins and minerals. And then it has a, like a cellular health anti-inflammatory, the cellular vitality complex, the alpha CRX is jam packed with stuff that if I went to buy it separately, it would be hundreds of dollars, that bottle alone. 
So I love that they all have it in one. And again, bioavailable. And I keep saying that because I think we're spending a lot of money on things that our bodies are not available. So this question. is the best way to do it. What does bioavailable mean for those who may not? Okay, it means that our cells can actually absorb it. Like that our cells, it's familiar to our bodies and our bodies can take it in, soak it up and use it. So if we're putting money into it, we want it to be used, right? Yeah. I love that you talked about, you know, the urine being bright yellow. People don't understand, <laughs> right, that that means that your body is literally throwing off. So if you go to the to the vitamin shop or somewhere and you spend hundreds of dollars, but your urine is bright yellow, you're not getting any of what you're putting into your body. And it's so amazing with doTERRA that, you know, with this lifelong vitality, and you're, and you're eating right and drinking right, my urine is pretty much clear. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and so that means all of that is being absorbed into my body. And so not only do I see the effects outside, you know, externally that way, but I feel the difference in my body as well. So that's so important. The week we started taking that Kenneth and I started taking lifelong vitality fat, we had never been into nutrition. We were like, you know, we're young, our bodies are strong. We'll suffer through whatever. And so we started taking lifelong vitality pack. I stopped crashing in the afternoons. I stopped needing a nap. His inflammation in his lower back and knees went down to the point where he wasn't, he wasn't needing uh, something to help alleviate the, the level of discomfort. Uh, and then my ability to like handle making, you know, making dinner without getting irritated, like at that, at that point in the day where I'm like, ah, everybody wants everything at the same time and everybody's talking at the same time and cooking, dinner is cooking. That, that also subsided a little bit. And so it was, it was just fascinating to see like how, wow, I just felt really stronger, supported throughout the whole day within the week. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That, that was a new idea for me. The realization that nutrition, la lack of nutrition contributes deeply to inflammation and thus discomfort in the body. Uh, that was a missing key for me and that I learned just by trial and error here in this. Um, and isn't it funny how even being young yeah. didn't exclude you from needing this additional support? Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think, oh, I'm young, so I don't need all of this stuff. Like, you know, I, 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 I you know, like I've got a grown son now, right? So he's in his twenties and he's, and I'm like, dude, you need, and he's like, I know mom, give me, give it to me. What do I, give me what I need, <laughs> yeah. you know? A, a quick fun fact is that um, children with special, a lot of times children that are born from parents who have special needs or either parents who are depleted at an older age, but also young adults that because of their teenage years requiring so much of their nutrients, they're depleted. Wow. So just for the next generation too, you know, it's like making that mindset in the midst of adolescence where their bodies is required to use so much of their nutrients, they really need it foundationally for the next year. That's yeah. so awesome. Carrie, would you share what's, what's changing in your life in this area of inflammation, discomfort, joints? Like oh my goodness. Changing? Yes. Well, everything is changing. <laughs> choosing, choosing one thing is so amazing, but um, I think my, my newest best friend is the deep blue Copaiba stick. Yeah. And I actually, the, the, I have the supplements on the way they were in the, they were in the last order. They're, they're in, in transit. Um, but this, I really discovered during convention. One of the reasons I wouldn't use deep blue, like during the day when I was out and about, I remember being a kid, my grandmother put icy hot on everything right and so I remember you know I would smell deep blue and that oil is very strong and it's very prominent and I would think to myself I am not walking around smelling like an old lady that I'm not doing that right so I love this new stick because number one the addition of copaiba to it yeah. um first of all the the scent is just really appealing to me it's not as 
I think, I think sometimes for me, the oil is just kind of loud. And so if I was gonna be home, if I wasn't going anywhere, I, I didn't mind using the oil, but this I can use out and about during the day. I can keep it in my purse. Um, it, at convention, we used it even just from all the standing in line, rub it on the lower back, rubbed it on the feet and ankles for, for all the, the steps we took and all the walking we were doing. And it just feels so good. It helps to manage the inflammation and it gives me more flexibility in, in that joint that's aching and hurting. It gives me more strength in that joint that's aching and hurting because the inflammation is getting lower. So yeah, this is my, this is my new go-to and I'm telling everybody, you need a, you need a deep blue stick. Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> I love that it's no mess. Like you don't have to touch it. So it's not on your fingers. You just simply like apply the stick where you need it and there's no touching. Yes. So there's no transfer to little babies, no transfer to documents or paperwork or whatever you're working on. Makes it really easy. It definitely does. Yeah. Kenneth does not go a day without this on his knees and his back. It just, if I take it and it moves to a different room, he, he's like, who took my deep blue? Where is it? <laughs> it is an absolute necessary must in our family. <laughs> And then I love what you said about the copaiba too, because copaiba and frankincense, I want to bring these two up and then turmeric. doTERRA has a, doTERRA has all three of these, well, not the frankincense, but copaiba and turmeric come in capsules. Yes. I don't have those yet. I've got the oil. Yeah. The, the dual chamber capsules for turmeric is really incredible because it's both the oil and the curcumin in the same capsule, separated by a, a little divider in a little vegetarian capsule. And so you're getting the benefit of both the oil and the curcumin. It just increases bioavailability and our absorption rate. And everybody knows turmeric is phenomenal for reducing inflammation, for joint movability, mobility, flexibility. And okay. copaiba comes in and copaiba is similar to a CBD oil in how it interacts with our brain cells and it's just phenomenal for reducing inflammation, for helping our joints function and everything. And then copaiba and frankincense together, I take two drops under the tongue. And this is anytime there's, there's aching um, or tension here around my head, drops of this under the tongue and it is handled, it is gone. I, as it is, I take a drop of frankincense under my tongue first thing in the morning because it's just so preventative for so many things it, and it helps my brain kind of go into go into drive I, it really helps awaken creative creativity and cognitive ability frankincense is excellent for many reasons but one of the things is it passes through the blood brain, brain barrier in the brain and it can enter regions of the brain that other medicines just can't reach and so it's like really helping your brain come alive so these two are my friends when it comes to any kind of tension or discomfort around my head, neck. And of course I can rub them in anywhere. They're so gentle on the skin. There's nothing loud or uh, abrasive about them. There's nothing spicy about them. So they're very mild and gentle on the skin. So my girls have used them. Uh, when we had braces, we had one come home with braces in her teeth and her teeth were aching. And we used copaiba and frankincense just wiped it all around her braces and it softened like it deadened, it dulled that ache. And it wasn't as spicy as clove would have been. Clove oil is often known for use with tooth teeth, but clove oil is super spicy and, and frankincense and copaiba aren't. And so it was so nice to have something that like really works. So then I had, a, once that worked really well, then I had an, um, an abscess, a tooth abscess for a number of months. And I began, I used my app, look up like, what, what oil would I use for this? I bet frankincense all over the swelling and the abscess and it shrank within a matter of two weeks. It was so fast. Uh, and that was just, you know, it's just a couple of times a day, putting the oil right on location. So there's just some personal stories of aching, discomfort, inflammation, we're using. any Anything else, ladies, that pop off to you before we wrap I, up? 
those two are oxygenating too. So I know that when we went on missions, we were in Guatemala and we go in high altitude and that can make people really sick. And to me, that was a game changer. So those, when we're traveling and, you know, even those changes in pressures in, in airplanes and also like oxygenation of the cell is just, really changes things. You have a tendency to headaches and discomforts. It just will help you through. It'll shift things drastically. Oh, that's so good to know. I didn't know that. That is awesome. I didn't know that either. Well, for me, the those three, along with majorum and lemongrass, this mm. summer post-surgery helped me to manage the pain and the inflammation. I put them all in a in a veggie capsule. And yeah. instead of having to worry about, you know, a, a heavy duty narcotic for pain, I took that two or three times a day for the first 72 hours. And then by the fourth day, I was only taking it like three times a day. And that was for discomfort, not, you know, like we're talking about an incision, we're talking about stitches, you know? And so it was such a different experience for me. And I was, and I didn't have to worry about the constipation from um, anesthesia and then following it up with all those, you know, heavy narcotics and those things that happen when we have surgery. This was such a gentler way to recover. And I felt like I was, and I was in my, my cognitive mind was, was very aware. I was very in tune to my body. And it's funny because even there wasn't a whole lot of scarring even. And I think it's all because energetically as well, my body wasn't in stress response. So I was able to recover in just such an amazing way. And, you know, being in your fifties, that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> you know, recovery is what is, is, can be so crazy to, to go through, but it was very easy and sweet. And, and they had given me, I think they gave me like two weeks off from work and I was totally okay. I could have actually gone back probably after a week. Don't tell my boss that, but <laughs> It was, that, though? it was really cool. Like it was to just be in tune. Even when I was, when I knew I needed to rest, I just, I just rested a little bit more. I just, but I didn't have all the, the, the reactions to the medicine um, and things like that. The only, the only regular medication anesthesia I took was what they actually gave me in the hospital for the surgery. And nobody wants to be awake for any of that. So I was okay with that, but <laughs> you know, but to actually then recover my way and just be, it was, it was wonderful. It really was a great experience. Before we wrap up, I just know, like <clears throat> I just shared, I looked up on an app, what oils I needed for my tooth abscess. And then Terry said, well, she used majorum and lemongrass. And you might wonder, like, how do you know which oils to look up for what things? Let me just share with you this. This is, there's a number of books and apps that are doTERRA specific. And they need to be doTERRA specific because doTERRA's oils, the purity level is higher than many other brands. And so the amounts that you need to use are specific. This app costs five bucks a year, but it is fantastic. It's just one of the apps we use. We used to also use Modern Essentials Plus. You can find that on your phone. Just go to the app store. This is the Essential Life app. And you can find it uh, in the marketplace or the iPhone app store or on their website, Essential Life. And it, you just look up whatever issue is happening and it will tell you what oils to use for it and how to apply and how often to apply. And if you currently have some oils you're working with and you don't know what they're good for, look them up in the app so you know what they're good for so you don't miss out. So many people I know have a handful of doTERRA's oils sitting there and life happens and they're suffering and they don't know what the oils are good for. They don't know that the solution is sitting right there on the table, right there in their kitchen. So, so true. This is part of our wellness journey. It's like realizing we really are the healers in our home and we need to know how to heal ourselves and our families. And when we do that, we can heal our communities. Like whole communities can have support when we work together like this. So... Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, ladies, for showing up on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Hope you have fantastic Thanksgivings. Hope everybody watching has a wonderful Thanksgiving, and we'll see you next Thursday.
for the next edition of Thriving Thursdays. Thanks, Hope. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, ladies. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Bye-bye.